Welcome to Learn with Sam and Ash. We're going to talk about will and would today, which are also called modal auxiliary verbs. Modal auxiliary verbs have four names. Modal auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, modals, and modal auxiliaries. I think we have repeated this in every video so that you get clear what it is about. These are the 10 of them. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to. Among these, can, could was the first video, may, might, second one, will, would is this one, the current one. If you didn't understand can, could or will, may, might, please remember you can click on the link in the description and you can go to the video. So in this video, we're going to talk about will and would. Let's start with will. Now will is used as future auxiliary. What does it mean by future auxiliary? You can create a sentence for future tense for anything simple or perfect. I will be happy when my exams are over. Future tense. Second one, this time tomorrow I'll be at home. So this is like for future again. She will have finished the project by this evening. Now you see here what we are talking about. This is a perfect tense. This is a present tense. Everywhere you have to use will. It's just have is added in this case. That is perfect tense. Certainty or confidence. That means you're sure about it. You use will. Let me show you an example. I'm sure you will understand this. See, again, we use will for being sure. Tomorrow will be a pleasant day that you're sure about because today was a bad day. So tomorrow will be a pleasant day. There's someone at the door. That will be my brother. You know for sure that, it, that he will be your brother. That's why you use will here. Look at this carefully. It's a shortened form of will that's called that'll. So you don't say that will, they say that'll. That will. So you, you shorten it. You don't say that will, but that'll. All right. Number third is giving orders or asking for something that is request. Will you be quiet? This is kind of an order the way you say it. Also a request. Come with me. Will you? Definitely a request. Phone number. Number four, wishes. What will you have? This is like you're asking someone for their wish. Second example, what will you drink tonight? So again, you're asking for someone's wish, what they will have tonight. Number fifth is willingness and their decision. So it says, example, we make it clear about willingness. Can you help me? Somebody asks you this question and you say, I will. This is your willingness. That is, you're sure going to help them. All right. Number sixth. Will versus want for wishes. Remember previous slide we talked about wishes. Now there are two ways to talk about wish, want and will. Remember will is an action word. If you say I will, that means you're going to do it. Right. For an example, will you open the door? Right. Second one, want are like thoughts. That means they're just going to be in imagination. Do you want me to open the door? It's like, you know, it's not sure. I want to be healthy. It's like your wish to be healthy, but you're not going to do anything for that. I will be healthy means you're going to do something right now. You're going to go to gym. So this is the difference between want and will. So these are the things that we talked about for will, future auxiliary, certainty or confidence, orders or request, wishes, willingness and decisions and will versus want for wishes. All right. So we're going to jump to the next one. Would. Now, would is a polite version of will. We talked about will, so we're going to see an example of that as well. Will you open the door? It's a little bit informal. To make it formal, what you do is add a would here and a please here. So think of a sentence. When you add would, definitely please will be there. Would you please open the door? It becomes formal and polite. So would is a polite version of will. Second one, past action which didn't take place. All right, you talked about something, but didn't take place. He met the woman whom he would date in the future. Now he met someone, but he didn't date the person at that time. He dated the person later. So that's why it didn't happen at that time, but that happened in the future. You use would. Okay, again, he met the woman whom he would date in the future. Next one, pass off will. Very simple, is would. I wish he wouldn't take me for granted a few months ago. That means you wish at that time that he wouldn't take you for granted. Otherwise, you know, definitely the result was bad. That's why the sentence came into being. I wish he wouldn't take me for granted 
few months ago. Fourth, indirect speech. So for direct speech, what we do is we take will in use. Tomorrow the weather will be fine. This is direct speech. For indirect speech, what do we do? The weather experts said that tomorrow the weather would be fine. Here the weather experts are important rather than the main thing, the weather. This is called indirect speech. All right. Typical behavior in the past. So somebody behaved same way in the past. You use would for that. When I was a child, my dad would bring me a cola every day. Right. So there's something that used to happen every day in the past. You use would for that. When I was a child, my dad would bring me a cola every day. When he was old, he would lie on that bed. So this was typical behavior of someone in the past. You use would. Conditional. So let's see an example. I would tell you the truth if you calm down. So there's a condition. If you calm down is a condition, the output will be, I'll tell you something. So I would tell you something if you calm down. We would go out if we could collect enough money. So collecting money, if we could do that, we would do this. So we would go out if we could collect enough money. So these are the things we understood in would. The first one was polite version of will, past action which didn't take place, past of will, Indirect speech, typical behavior in the past, and conditional sentences. I hope you understood will and would, which are also called modal auxiliary verbs. If you have any doubt, please write in the comments. And this was the full video. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, do it because more videos are coming in this series. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.